Hey guys, I hope you all are great there. Uh, today we are going to talk about In Memoriam, uh, Arthur Henry Hallam. Uh, this poem is by Alfred Lord Tennyson. And uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, 8 to 10 facts about this poem. Okay. Art se 10 fact mein aap logon ko iske bare mein bataunga and these are most important points you should remember about this poem guys thank you so much for your visit to our family we need your support and love please press subscribe button and bell icon it's totally free we love for you sense alfred lord tennyson ki ye sabse important poem hai so let's go ahead the first uh, Fact is, this was written for on the death of Arthur Henry Hallam. He was his uh, friend. Or in ki jo death with you, cerebral hemorrhage se in ki death with you, 1833 mein. Okay, you can write down this one. 1833 mein cerebral, cerebral hemorrhage se hui thi. Ab, aap logon ko mein bata dun ki his friend was Arthur Henry Hallam. Dono ek saath Cambridge mein padte the. Next fact is, uh, this work. In Memoriam is one of the greatest poem, poems of 19th century. Okay, 19th century ki greatest poem mein isko mana jata hai. Next thing is, it was an elegy. Yaha pe aap dekh sakte hain. It was an elegy and requiem. The original title of the poem was The Way of the Soul. Write down this one. The original title was The Way of the Soul. Ye ek baar kendriya vidyala ke exam mein poocha gaya question hai. And this might give an idea of how the poem was is an account of all Tennyson's thought and emotions as grieves over the death of his close friend. अपने जो उनका close friend है उसकी death पे ये इसको लिख रहे हैं और the way of the soul इस बात से बिल्कुल ये बात clear होती है. Next thing is in memoriam is written in four lines A B B A stanzas of iambic tetrameter. आईएमबी टेट्रामीटर में ये जो पोइम है वो लिखी गई है एंड फोर लाइंस की जो राइम स्कीम है वो है ए बी बी ए और बाद में इन्हीं को मेमोरियम स्टेंजर्स भी कहा गया है सो इन मेमोरियम मेमोरियम स्टेंजर्स हैज फोर लाइंस एंड द राइम स्कीम विल बी ए बी बी ए पोइम इज डिवाइडेड इनटू 133 कैंटोस सो यू कैन राइट डाउन दिस This poem is divided into 133 cantos. Now quotations. This is uh, again the most important part of this video. Quotations. The most frequently quoted lines in this poems are perhaps, "I hold it true, whatever befall, I feel it when I sorrow most. It is better." to have loved and lost then never to have loved at all these lines are in uh, canto 27 the last two lines are usually taken as offering a meditation on the dissolution of a romantic relationship the jo lines are last wali okay these two lines tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all canto 27 me इसमें ये फैक्ट आप लोगों को याद रखना है दे आर रेमनिसेंट ऑफ अ लाइन फ्रॉम विलियम कॉन ग्रेव्स पॉपुलर 1700 प्ले द वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑल राइट द वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इस वर्क को लिखा था विलियम कॉन ग्रेव्स ने 1700 में और उन्होंने ये लाइन इस तरह से लिखी थी टेस्ट बेटर टू बी लेफ्ट देन नेवर टू हैव बीन लव्ड नेक्स्ट मच कोटेड जो फ्रेज है वो है नेचर रेड इन ट्रूथ टूथ एंड क्लॉक It was uh, found in Canto 56, and here it is referring to humanity who trusted God was love indeed, and love creation's final law, though nature read in tooth and claw, claw, with ravine shrieked against his creed. The next in next uh, much quoted phrases can in Canto 54. So runs my dream but what am i an infant crying in the night an infant crying for the light and with no language but a cry in canto 123 these the hills are shadows and they flow from form to form 
and nothing stands they melt like mist and solid lands like clouds they shape themselves and go and uh, this references are recent discoveries discovery by geologists of earth great age and mutability a scientific wonder that underlay emerging ideas of nature and evolution okay so these are the quotations important quotations and uh, you can say you can uh, write down these quotations in your diary and these are the facts in this video bye bye take care check out my other videos i have 200 plus videos for english literature i hope it will help you in your exams bye bye take care see you in next video